Hi, I'm Steve Atkin, Chief Globalization Architect from IBM. And today I'm going to show you how you can rapidly build out APIs using IBM API Connect, Node-RED, and Cloudant, all running out on IBM Bluemix. So I've already gone ahead and created a Node-RED application on IBM Bluemix, and I've linked in a Cloudant NoSQL database. What I'm going to do now is just switch into the Cloudant dashboard for my database. And here I have uh, some sample insurance data from a made-up insurance company. And this uh, sample data has automobile insurance claims that have been paid over some period of time for various types of damage. And what we want to do is actually build an API that allows us to get a summarized view of this information in our Cloudant database. And we're going to do that uh, by first building out a map reduced view. Then we'll build a Node-RED flow that connects to that map reduced view. And that Node-RED flow will serve as our internal API implementation. And then we're going to go ahead and use API Connect um, to securely um, connect to that internal API implementation. And then be able to manage the API for other users that want to come in and use this service all through API Connect. So let's go ahead and first um, create a new design document. So we'll go ahead and create a new view here. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to just uh, title our design document Claims Paid. And then we're going to title our uh, new view and we're going to call that uh, Claim Reason. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to edit our map function. The default map function is not going to be able to uh, do what we want, so we're going to uh, use a, an alternative map function that we're going to write here. So let's go ahead and replace that. Uh, this map function that we're using is going to go through our uh, database. It's going to summarize here or emit out the, uh, the claim reason, the state code, the coverage type, and the total uh, claims paid uh, for each of the various claim reasons, uh, states, and coverage types. And then let's scroll down a little bit more. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a uh, sum for our reduce. And let's go ahead and save that document and build the index. OK, let's actually go ahead and run uh, that query, make sure everything is uh, working as we expect. And make sure you select reduce here. Let's just run query. Now when we run that, that should generate our map reduce view for us. And there you have it. We have our map reduce view. We're getting the summary, uh, summarization for the various uh, claim types and uh, all the uh, total claims paid. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and switch into uh, Node Red. Um, so here I have uh, my Node Red flow editor and uh, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to actually build out a node red flow that's going to connect to that uh, Cloudant database map reduced view that we just created. So let's go ahead and add an HTTP in node and we're going to edit that and this is going to serve as our internal route for our API and we're just going to go ahead and call this insurance claims. Then we'll just title this node claims and click OK. Uh, now we want to secure this internal API implementation, so we're just going to head and use an HTTP authentication node. And we're going to wire those two together. And for the username and password, we're just going to use admin and admin. Naturally, you'd want to choose something more secure if you're building an actual API that you're going to use in production. And then from here, what we want to do is we're going to actually call out to that map reduced view, so we're going to use an HTTP request. Uh, node. Let's go ahead and wire those together. Um, we're going to be using basic authentication to connect to our cloud and database. So we need to go ahead and grab our cloud and credentials. And you could, can go ahead into your um, Bluemix um, uh, application and copy out your uh, cloud and uh, credentials and just paste them in here. So I'm just going to paste in my username. I'm going to go ahead and grab my password. and we're going to be returning a parse JSON object. Now we need to go ahead and go back to Cloud for a moment and grab the URL uh, that ena enables us to um, connect directly to that map reduced view. So we'll go back to our Cloud dashboard for a moment. And uh, here we're going to click on API. 
and here we're going to copy that URL. And then we'll go back to our node red flow. And we'll just paste that in. And we'll just call this node cloudant. OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get the response back from that MapReduce view. So we want to do a little bit of cleanup on that. Uh, so we're going to add in a little function node here. And let's go ahead and wire the output of that into the function node. Um, in the function node, what we're going to do is we're just going to walk through uh, the data and uh, we're just going to format that a little bit better um, to make it a little bit more easy to consume uh, for our API. And so we're just going to add a little JavaScript function here uh, to take care of that. And we'll just call this node format. And then lastly, we're going to head and go ahead and uh, pick an HTTP uh, response node um, to return our actual output. Let's go ahead and pick that, and we'll just wire that together. And then we're going to head and click Deploy, and that'll deploy that node red flow out onto Linux in our application space. So now that we've got our node red flow connected off to our Cloud and uh, MapReduce view, um, we're going to actually uh, use API Connect now um, to build an API that we'll be able to expose in the developer portal um, for the catalog that we'll ultimately publish the API into. Uh, so that our developers can subscribe to the API uh, through the developer portal for the catalog. So let's go ahead and bring up API Connect. Um, with API Connect, you can go ahead and read some documentation on how to launch that from your command line to so install the command line tools. Um, and here I've already created um, an uh, instance where I'm able to launch API Connect, so I've already created that project. Uh, but now let's go ahead and click on um, Add an API. And we're just going to call this uh, Claims uh, Summary. And for the base path, here I'm going to add in the version, so I can just keep that in my base path. So I'm going to add in V1. And we're not going to add this to any product at the moment. <coughs> now we're going to scroll down a little bit here, and we're going to select a few options. Um, here you can see in the schemes, uh, we want to use um, HTTPS, we want this API to be secure. And our API is actually going to generate um, JSON, so we'll choose Application JSON for the output. And kind of scrolling down a little bit further, you'll see by default security is turned on. Here we have Client ID, and that's being passed in the header. And we can just leave that as, as is right now. Um, and we'll scroll down a little bit further. Uh, and now we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to define uh, the um, path to the API that we've actually built. So let's go ahead and click um, Add Path here. Um, and we're just going to call this uh, Claims. And click on Get here. Um, here you can see we're not going to be passing any parameters into this API. Um, and here for the response, we're just going to have a uh, simple um, JSON object come back. So we're not going to validate the object at this point. So what we have is, uh, is perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and click save. And now we're going to switch to the assemble view here, assemble tab. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to call into our node red flow. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the invoke node. And what we'll be doing is we're going to be changing the target URL here to actually call our internal API implementation that we already built with our node red flow. So there's the path to uh, my particular node red flow and fill in yours. Um, because we've secured this API internally, uh, what we want to do is enter in that password and um, username that we established earlier when we were setting up the HTTP authentication node in Node Red. Um, so just go ahead and select those. And then once again, we'll click uh, Save. Uh, now what we need to do is we're going to actually um, uh, kind of test this out and make sure it's all working correctly. So let's go ahead and click Run here for the moment. And then uh, let's just restart our server, make sure everything is up and running fine. And uh, once we got our test server up, we'll go ahead and make sure that we've wired the API correctly. Okay, let's go back to APIs. There's our claim summary API. Go back to assemble. And now we're going to head and run that API. And here we'll choose our get claims operation. Scroll down a little bit. Let's click on invoke. And there you can see we're getting our response uh, from the internal API. Uh, implementation in Node Red, which connects out to our um, cloud um, database into that MapReduce view that we established earlier. So it looks like we've wired everything correctly. Now what we're going to do is we're actually publish this API. 
But before we do that, um, let's just switch views here for a moment and let's take a look at uh, the catalog out on API Connect on Bluemix. I've already um, built a catalog called Production. Um, and here you'll see we don't have any uh, products um, in the, in the, uh, that we published yet. Uh, so let's uh, switch back to API Connect and let's go ahead and publish that into this uh, catalog. So here we'll click Publish. And here you can see I've got that catalog already selected in my org. And I'm going to select specific products and choose my insurance APIs. Actually, what we need to do first, though, is um, add this add this API before I forget uh, to the catalog. Uh, so let's go back to um, products here for a moment. I've already um, uh, built a product called insurance APIs. And what I want to do here is I want to add that API that we um, just uh, built and add that into this API product. So I can click Add, and then we'll choose Claim Summary. Click Apply. Now we've added that API into that API product. Let's just save that once again. And now we can go back and, and publish that. So I click on Publish. There's our catalog. Let's just select our insurance APIs product with the API that we've already wired up. Click Publish. And here you'll see in a few moments uh, we can uh, now take a look at uh, the API out in our production catalog. So let's go back. Let's refresh our catalog. And there you can see there's our insurance APIs. Uh, so what we now need to do is uh, just change the visibility on that. So here you can click on Manage, and we're going to choose Edit Visibility and Subscribers. Um, and what we're going to do here is choose Custom. And uh, you can choose the orgs that you actually want to make your API visible and subscribable to. Um, here I'm just going to choose myself at this moment. But you can choose any number of orgs that you've already established um, earlier. And click Republish. And now my API is available for use and is subscribable um, by people in uh, using the developer portal out on um, API Connect, uh, that it's linked to your catalog. You can go ahead and subscribe and use those APIs. So I hope uh, that uh, shows you how easy and quickly you can go ahead and build an API using API Connect, Node-RED, and Cloud and on Bluemix. Um, so go ahead and um, generate some cool APIs. Thanks.